All right, guys, so when you do your shoulder workout, especially when you're cutting, especially, um, you got to go heavy and you got to be able to mix heavy workouts with high rep workouts at the same time in the same workout. So you guys can see I'm cutting up a little bit. You know, I definitely feel some strength losses. That's kind of how it goes. Try to keep the creatine up as much as possible so you can keep that strength throughout the whole cut. Um, I'm not a fan of bulking. So this time of year, everyone's bulking. I'm not bulking. Uh, just looking to get my uh, body fat percentage into the athletic levels. Uh, to maximize my performance, you know, I want to try to be light as well. So you'd see me doing some pressing exercises. I do definitely enjoy pressing. I think that's when she's spotting me, you see, I think I got 80s, excuse me, 70s. And I could have sworn I've done 90s before, maybe sets of one. Uh, so you can see the strength losses here. Uh, 115. That's probably 115. It might be 95. I use both of those pretty frequently. Um, I'm a fan of pressing, even though I have long arms and a long way to go. Um, my pressing is something that I enjoy, especially working the shoulders. And this next exercise you're going to see um, is a new way of a lateral raise, I guess you would say. Uh, I get that strap around my elbow, and I'm a big fan of this. You can see I get momentum into it as well. It's pretty hard to get going if not. But just think how all these basketball players have such big shoulders. It's because of the driving through the lane, um, flexing their arms, trying to protect that ball. Um, and it's something that I've really thought about. And as soon as I thought it, I tried it, and it's I, I'm digging it. I feel I love the feeling and the, the cuts that I'm getting from doing this consistently. So if you have the means to try it with a strap like that, go ahead. If you guys are new, subscribe, comment, tell me what your favorite shoulder exercise is. This is about just over halfway done there's my high rep stuff I think that's a 55 pound bar definitely been working on the channel working on building my personal training here in my uh, my town Fresno California so something that I've been working on and uh, have neglected the channel a little bit but I have been keeping up consistent and the views are growing so I appreciate that we hit 1500 and we're about to hit 500,000 views on the channel um, so I'm working hard and you know it's time to put everything in overdrive especially since it's the new year um, always work hard at what you do, especially if it's something you want to take far. So here you see me holding one of those shoulders up. It's a static hold for that left side. The traps, I love to do traps with my shoulders. And then uh, and then switch sides when you, when you do about 10, I'd say. Those are 80s I'm holding. Back to the high rep, I think that's like 33 pounds. And it's got several pulleys, so if you guys know how that works. Um, I mean, I've got high reps. I love to fit that high reps in there. You know, you got to force the muscle to grow. Uh, and sticking to one mode or method of training is not going to help. It's going to you're going to hit the wall. You know, every mode or method has a uh, its own drawback. So try to get a little bit of everything. Uh, just not those kipping pull-ups. Now I'm just playing CrossFit guys. There's that last one. I think that's 115. Yeah, that's 115. The last one was 95. Uh, I love to get that heavy ones and even forced reps with the momentum there. And the very last, you grab 245s on each each arm and do that uh, traps. It doesn't have to look pretty, um, but just feel the pump and really get those shoulders to the ears. And I feel like it's almost impossible to do traps without making faces. So go ahead and tell me what your favorite shoulder workout is. Guys, subscribe if you're new. Give the video a like.